It's so much easier to hunt mutants with a digital dog or kill zombies with a digital daughter figure by your side. Who needs real friends when you've got these buddies? Like real-life dogs, dog meat is widely considered to be one of the Fallout series' emotional centers. A faithful and loyal German shepherd, dog meat makes trawling through the wastelands all the more bearable, providing much-needed companionship and a lonely world gone wrong. As useful as he is loyal, dog meat's keen sense of smell is often the only way to stay alive in Fallout's post-apocalyptic open world. You're still constantly overreacting. I have absolutely no idea how I've managed to keep you alive so long. Always ready with a joke, funny or otherwise, Claptrap provides some comic relief and absurdity in a game that's already about as absurd as they come. He brags about his bravery while displaying extreme cowardice and has some serious abandonment issues. Most of all, he just never shuts up. Oh, wow! Pandoran Bandit! Usually I see guys like you while looting your dead corpses. Clearly he's gonna be the one that dies first! Am I right? But deep down, we all love him for it, and Borderlands just wouldn't be Borderlands without his constant, nonsensical banter. All things considered, he's a pretty solid companion, and we wouldn't take him any other way. Ellie is your companion throughout the majority of The Last of Us masterpiece, and the main motivator for most of the action. As humanity's only hope for a cure to the cordyceps-like infection turning humans into what are essentially zombies, Ellie's safety becomes the player's responsibility, and a big one at that. However, she's more than just a valuable package requiring safe transport. Throughout your journey, Ellie becomes your surrogate daughter, your rescuer, and your friend. How about, hey Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. You got anything like that for me, Joel? Hal Emmerich, who goes by the alias Otacon, is one of the best companions in video game history because he's a lot like the average gamer. He's a not particularly tough computer geek, he loves anime, and he knows how to remotely control a walking tank equipped with nuclear weapons, if needed. If these traits don't apply to you, there's no denying that Otacon's a lot more similar to Joe or Jane Gamer than perpetual badass and master of espionage Snake. Originally a Sith-built droid and successful assassin for Dark Revan, HK-47 proves his worth as a valuable companion not only in combat, but in conversation. Probably the most quotable character in the Knights of the Old Republic series, HK-47 comes programmed with that dry, droid-like sense of humor we're accustomed to seeing. If I see one more idiot attacking a Jedi with a blaster pistol, then I'll kill them myself. All in all, HK-47's one droid we love questing through space with, as he's equally well-equipped for both battle and stand-up comedy. Always there with a quip, a complaint, or a lewd story, Sully all but makes the Uncharted series. Sure, playing as Nathan Drake is great, but the games wouldn't be anywhere near what they are if you didn't have Victor Sullivan. He's your pal and father figure, helping you mastermind treasure hunting schemes, shoot bad guys, and yell Drake every time you fall down a ravine to your untimely death. Even when he's not accompanying you directly, he always seems to bail you out of trouble by showing up with some sort of stolen vehicle. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Yeah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> One thing's for sure, if you're ever fleeing crumbling ruins, you better hope Sully's waiting for you at the end of the tunnel. Dogs are great, but if you're a robot boy hell-bent on defeating the evil, well-oiled armies of Wily, a robot dog is even better. Rush, Mega Man's faithful, transforming robot dog, first appeared in Mega Man 3 and has since appeared in virtually every successive Mega Man game to date. The canine compatriot is ultra-helpful, turning into a springy coil, smooth-riding hoverboard, or crucial submarine whenever you require his assistance. And you thought your Yorkshire Terrier was cool for playing dead, rolling over, and mangling stuffed animals. Horses are proud and noble beasts, but few are as majestic as Link's recurring steed, Epona. You first meet the beautiful animal in the Ocarina of Time. Though baby Epona initially wants nothing to do with Link, she eventually warms up to the pointy-eared Hyrulean after he learns Epona's song, and a lifelong friendship is born. Epona is a perfect companion. After all, there's nothing more fun than sitting on an animal that's bigger than you and riding it around. Epona has appeared in later games, helping us traverse fantastic landscapes in legendary quests. <laughs>